So today we are looking at a, a new a little tiny drone. They call it a, it's a, it's the Holy Stone, Holy Stone. This is it right here. The HS430, HS430. There's the front. It's probably more exciting. Uh, 14 plus. So for kids, but not, not necessarily young, young kids, right? Um, it's the uh, FP, they call it FPV HD 1080p video drone. Now, just be aware, it is a video drone, which means it can record video. Uh, don't think you're going to be getting uh, video quality anything near, let's say, some of the the higher end. And I don't even want to say high end cameras. You know, you know, I'm talking about just little drones that, uh, for one, are big enough to fly outdoors or cost, you know, four or five times the amount of this. Uh, this is never going to have the video quality of something like that. So if that's your expectation, then you're going to be uh, sad, sad. You're going to be disappointed, right? You have to, this is Canadian, like $89 and there's a $5 coupon right now. So just kind of be aware. Uh, it is a beginner drone and really you use something like this primarily is it's for fun, whatever. It's, they're fun to fly around. I have one of those little, little tiny little drones. I still fly it around the house just when I'm bored because it's entertaining. Uh, chase the cats, you know, things like that. Uh, also really good to learn because even though a lot of higher end drones have GPS, which in turn makes them a little easier to fly, um, what happens if that fails? You really do need to know how to fly a drone without that help of a GPS. So I always think these are really good because you should learn to fly on something like this because it gets you comfortable with how the sticks work, how it, you know, being able to fly it away and fly it back where everything's backwards, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, but this is, uh, what does it say? A foldable hobby RC quadcopter toy with circle fly, that's something, uh, throw to go, so just sweet, uh, three batteries, a grand total of 39 minutes. You're looking at, what is that, 13 minutes per per battery? So, yeah, that's all right, you know. Uh, something that small, I wouldn't expect much more. It does come with a little controller, as you can see it there. Folds up tiny, because it's got to fit in this box. 1080p camera. Uh, it's not, like, rotatable or on any kind of uh, gimbal or anything like that. Uh, there's your battery, advanced pro level, high speed rotation, circle fly, 3D flip, super cool. Uh, updated features, yep. Yeah. Uh, trajectory flight, you know, all that stuff, fun. But really, you know, how, how does it fly manually? Because that's the reason you're going to get this. If you really want something to be able to, you know, do waypoint flying, spend more money, right? Spend more money. Anyway, this is $90 Canadian. So... If you get it in the states, it's probably like twelve bucks or something like that. No, that's not that's not true. But you get you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, this is this is inexpensive. So let's let's crack it open and, and see what we get, and then we're going to take it for a a quick flight. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm putting it down there. This, this is it. This is the box. I haven't opened it. I have no idea what I'm getting. What I do know, look, look how tiny this is. That's, that's my hand, right? Like it's, it's wee, it's wee small, wee small, which is great because, you know, at least here in Canada and a lot of places, as long as it's under a certain weight, usually it's 249 grams, then you don't need to fly with a license or registered or anything like that, which this is going to most definitely be under for sure. Oh my gosh, that is tiny. That is going to be perfect for just flying around the house. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. But no, sir. No, sir, ma'am, sir. No way. Look how tiny that is. You know, I was talking about the, like, the little drones that I have that I fly around the house because they're, they're just fun because right, that's not a whole lot bigger. Check that out, right? Like, it's, that's, that's it, right? Look at that. And it's foldable. It's super light, right? I got it up backwards already. So this, you know, this is what you use when you want pro level and you're going to be like, I'm going to get clients right there. That's not what you're going to use. But like, if you put it like this, you'd be like, oh, it's massive. It's not massive. It's tiny, right? That's where your battery is going to go right in inside there. That's where your batteries go. There's your power button and there's your camera. Again, the camera you would rotate before you take off. So you kind of spin that where you want. So if you want it like down a little bit, you just kind of angle it. No gyro. So the footage is going to be as shaky as all get out. 
Just realize that. Okay, again, it's something. Uh, does it have, I don't even look. Does it have an, does it have an app? It may have an app, I don't even know. Um, batteries, there's your batteries right there. Be cool if it came, and I don't know, be cool if it came with a charger that could charge, let's say two batteries at once, so that one could be in the drone while the other ones are charging. So this, simply, you just take that, you guys can see it, right? And it's just fits in like this. Boom. Still doesn't weigh anything. And there's your there's your two extra batteries. Sweet deal. This is your uh, charging cable would be my guess. So this is the little charger. It is a micro USB charger. This seems like, like the same kind of chargers you see on some, uh, almost like some small like RC cars and stuff like this. So does this plug into this at all? Does it charge via this? I don't think so. Does it charge right into the actual battery? That's the question because a lot of them may do see, see that right there. I'm wondering, no, I was like, does this have to, no, that does not. So maybe, maybe there's a charger. What else do you get? You get, I'm guessing these are something at first i thought maybe they'd be like prop guards or something like that because there's four my thought would be possibly a crop crop guard prop guard something that you kind of fit into this somehow right just so that it's you know sticks out far enough i'll have to look i'll look figure that out See, see how it fits like right in the leg there like that? I, I wonder if that's like you just squeeze that. Nope, that's not it at all. I don't think so. I'll figure that out and then we'll we'll come back. Don't worry, I'll come back. Before we fly it, I'll figure that out. But anyway, there's four of them. My guess is that's kind of some kind of prop guard. So if you decide to run that into the wall, right? This is your remote. So it does, it does you can hook your phone into it. You guys see that, right? Hook your phone into it. Don't expect it to be super like, wow, it's like the best controller in the whole world. No. Low, high for speed. There's your power. You got some trim buttons. This rotate thing here would be probably if you had a camera that could do that, because I'm sure they use the same kind of controller for everything. Uh, this is going to need batteries, which uh, I think I may have some. This is triple A's. I think I have three triple A's, it looks like. So it doesn't come with them, but you're gonna need you're gonna you're gonna need them and then last but not least you get a instructions for use so before we figure out what we physically need uh what does that say there's a caution caution do not fly into people i don't know what this is avoid short circuiting by fitting the batteries correctly do not crash or squeeze the batteries ensure store or charge your batteries in open and dry areas etc 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 cool Okay, so there's pairing, there's charging. See, this one, this one here, USB adapter, power bank, computer. So, yes, I'm plugging this in. Yes. This side, it does kind of say it just goes into the battery. That can't be it. Can't. Oh, there, maybe right, see right there? There's a little tiny spot. I think that is where that goes, right there. Well, and then you plug this in. So you do wanna get one charger, just so you know. So if I plug this in, you guys may not be able to see that, but if I plug that in, so there is a light, you guys, can you see that maybe? See right there? There's a light that shows up on the charger that tells you that this is charging. That will either turn off or turn green after that has fully charged. We'll let those charge. My guess is they'll charge fairly fast. It does show you how to pair uh, use of your battery, operating requirements, yeah, maintenance, drone details. So, I, I'm, I'm, propeller, yeah, we got propellers. Does it talk about, they call them propeller guards. They do. Uh, I want to know how to put the propeller guards on. That's the only thing I want to know. How do you put the joystick? Yes. Propellers install. It's how to put your battery in. I'm with you. Propellers, propeller guards. So... Oh, they go, do they, oh, right, right there. See that? That's where they go. So this goes, that's it, right there. Boom. 
So now you got um, little. They just kind of they just kind of snap in there, right? Yeah. All right. See, once you know, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you read. They say reading has some benefit to it, at least that ability to read. So that's nice. It's about time I had a reason for that, that skill. Oh, yes. All right, there we go. You guys see it? I'm all prop guarded. Yep. Excellent. So we're going to let that charge. I'm going to do some reading, and then we'll go upstairs and uh, try this out. Mm, that's fun. All right, guys, so here here it is. I got the little guards on there. We're not going to play with it with the phone or anything like that because, you know, uh, I, I'm a firm believer that uh, this is not going to give you uh, decent, like, camera quality or anything like that. Uh, but it could be, like, fun for just flying around in the house. So I did have to go buy some AAA batteries. So we'll turn this on. So this just goes on here. Uh, this, uh, the power button is underneath this little thing, which, whatever. And there's a high and a low. I'm just going to keep it on low right now. And we'll put this on the table there. All right. And I will try not to crash it, I don't think. All right, so I think it's I think it's paired there, and there's a there's a little like takeoff button. Ready? I think I have to turn it. There it is. So it's pretty standard. It's kind of just the down, you know, that 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 tick tick that way to get it going. And then you have an up, right? Boom. So, like it's decently stable. It's got a definitely has a drift. I'm not touching anything. You guys can see it drifting there. Yes, right. But. So be it. I do think you could probably, like, if I push the controls this way, it drifts that way. If I push it this way, right? So it's not as if you can kind of trim it because it's even kind of going up and down a little bit. It's definitely down there, right? So it definitely has a float. So even if you're flying this indoors, you really, I guess the bonus of it is it's, it's going to be nice for learning your controls. Like, I'm not even touching the up or down one at all. <laughs> it's it's definitely flying upwards, right? Down. So it does have a little bit of wanting to. Uh, well, like I said, it's it's it doesn't have any, as far as I can tell, like a optical sensor on the bottom to figure out or understand how high it is or how low it is or anything like that. So it definitely has a drift for sure. Which, which is something. So you really do have to be aware of it. Right? I think it has a, like a trick button somewhere. Let's see if I can figure it out here. Get it a little closer. There it is. So if you, if you, your right trigger, if you, it's the only one that has the ability to kind of push it down. So if you're right, I want not sorry, not trigger your throttle stick. You push it down. But you got, you got to like give it room. So if I click on it, right there, you go. If I bring this down, click on it, push forward, so forward flip. Whoa. So she does have the flips are easy for sure. Like if I want a back root flip, I'm just going to tap, pull back, boom. Yeah, and it's, it's good for, I would say, outside. Like today, it's really windy, so I'm not going to fly it outside at all. You can fly this inside. It's it's big enough, though, if you were to probably fly this. Whoops. If you were to fly this into your... Stop, 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 stop. It's under, it's under the couch. If you were to fly this into, like, a TV or something like that, then I would say uh, it could it could do some damage, right? Uh, outdoors on a nice non-windy day, you guys might be able to see outside here. It's not a great day out, uh, and it's it is it is windy. It is definitely too windy for this. But like I said, if you want to practice flying indoors, you know if you're a beginner and you just want something that's not expensive, 
you know, turn this off. Um, it's cool. The only thing, I don't know how long the AAA batteries will get for it, you know, you'll get with them. But with the three batteries for the drone itself, it says, you know, you're getting about a half hour. So I think that's what it said, half hour, something like that. This, about 10 minutes. You're going to get about 10 minutes per battery. So, you know, it's a, it's fun. It's a fun little drone. Uh, it's, it's really good, I think, if you were like, I wonder if I'd like flying drones. I don't necessarily want to drop a couple hundred bucks. Because, you know, if you play with this and it's $90 Canadian, you can get a good idea if you're like, yeah, that's fun. Or I don't know. So there you go, guys. I'll, I'll put links down below to where you can pick this up if you're interested. And uh, that's it. I'm going to uh, go do something else. All right, guys. Uh, links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And I will see you guys next video. Later.